Hey guys, welcome to Friday Night Magic here at Forestman Comics. My name is Ryan O'Loughlin, and with me I have Kurt and I. And I'm just getting the info on the screen. Hey guys, welcome to Friday Night updated, Magic here at Forestman so Comics. Kurt kind of walk you through what's going on. Me. I have Kurt and, I. and I'm just getting the info on the screen. Hey guys, to Friday Night Magic updated, so like Kurt kind of walk you through what's going on. Me. I have Kurt and I. And and I'm just getting the. We should, get, we should be good to go audio, visual, video wise. I just need to update that in, that information on All the right, screen. Well, Ryan's getting that set up. We have uh, Josh Ankeny sitting where Tim Scrog's name is, and he is playing Absan, and he is up against Russell. Good old Russell. Doesn't play modern here very often anymore, but uh, he's repping his Infect deck that he always has. So it's Absan versus Infect. Oh my God, I'm drunk. Man, Ryan is I'm not really hard drunk. Time. I'm just acting like it. It looks like we're hopping in here. It looks like Josh already has four poison counters on him. We're getting hit down by that glistener elf. I wonder if Josh will be dead by the time I get all of this <laughs> info fixed. It's it's possible. We are stream we do have a five round event this evening. We're probably only gonna stream the first four. We're probably gonna Yeah, we're Probably gonna cut it out after round four. Cut that out. All right. So now life totals. Hey, Josh still alive? Yep. They're both at seventeen. There we go. Path on the Glistener Elf. Russell does not have anything in hand to uh, keep that Glistener Elf alive. Kind of surprising. Why is he like mental misstep that? That'd be <laughs> yes. that'd be real good. Or blossoming defense. Or uh, what's the other one they play? Vines of the Vast Vines One. Vines of the Vast One. Yeah, yeah. What's the... And the white one? That you used to see a lot of play. doesn't so much anymore. Apostle's that's, Blessing? Yeah. Yeah. That was... That's all more play before Blossoming Defense was printed. That's like a spicy one of in Storm Decks now. Some Storm Decks what do that. What for? To, like, protect Varal? Yeah, pl you play, like, Varal on two. Yeah. Keep him alive with Apostle Blessing and then try to storm off on turn three. Okay. Yeah. I'm not getting our link for the Facebook. Oh yeah, because you can here. you can just you can just pay the new Phyrexian mana because he reduces the cost. Right. Yeah. yeah so yeah. you just pay two life. That's cool. I don't know. I don't see us up on Facebook yet. Here, right? Yeah. I will double check it, but I'm pretty sure it was up. Normally, normally I get a notification on my phone. Anyways, here comes a Grim Flare. Grim do Flare. And a uh, tapped. Oh, I know that card. That land. Stirring Wildwood. Stirring Wildwood. Man, name escapes me. I can remember Apostle's Blessing, so that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, we're up. We're up? Why am I not getting a notification on here? Uh, just go if you go to the page it should be near the, it should be at the top. Alright. Top ish. Boom. Alright. Sorry for the the slow start this evening, guys. We're just kind of put the I put the whole stream together tonight in about eight minutes, so we're just kind of a little more behind the bandwagon than normal. Good to go, though. Looks like we're not getting any desktop audio on here, so you got that one fixed. Yay! Check on here. I heard our uh, beautiful voices. Yay! <laughs> All right, so it looks like Russell had a couple early infectors, but Josh was able to uh, to stabilize, and now he's on the aggressive. Yeah, well, he just had a glistener elf and a noble hierarch, and then he had you know some distortion strike action. He just tried to uh, become immense on the noble hierarch, try to get some some damage in there. But, right. Uh, Josh had two paths so far. There's another string wildwood. Yeah, and he's sitting with a maelstrom pulse in his hand, so yeah. he's got an out to a non ink moth nexus infect creature. Yeah, but it looks like Russell's. He's got Russell at fifteen. He must does have hit he him with some combat damage at some point, or cracked a fetch or something? Does he have delirium? I see land sorcery instant. So not and yet. I can't tell what the. He's other got is. delirium oh, now. now. He's got delirium for sure. Oh. All right, Russell playing off the top. He's at eleven. It yeah, looks like. he because yeah. he cast dismember on the yeah. uh, the guy, you know, the guy who does the stuff, the flare, that the guy. Flare, it's kind of cool. Flare, interesting card. Uh, I was kind of, you know, when it was out in standard, it was sweet. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was gonna find its way into modern. It sees a little think bit of it's play. Better than Goyf, but no. it's, people play. It's a good cheap 
alternative to yeah, life. If yeah, you yeah, for sure. And like some out eighty bucks. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's like goyf number five and six and yeah, yeah. You never have too many goyfs. Yeah, except they've kind of fallen out of popularity. Yeah, because of Fatal Push. Yeah. Man, Fatal Push, what a card. It's yeah. <laughs> There's some debate as to whether it's falling out of favor because it's actually not good or because people just think it's not good. Yeah, I mean, the meta also I don't think is very kind to Tarmogoyf right now. Mm -hmm, with so, Storm and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. Death Shadow decks. Yeah. The Grixis. Of the Grixis variety. All right, so. There's a good hey, speaking, speaking of, of the, the nerd. All right. We got him. I don't know what he is right now, though. Uh, So, I think, I believe he's a 3-4, assuming there's a land in Josh. Or a 4-5, assuming there's a land in Josh's graveyard. Okay, yeah. We really should have a goyf die down there. Yeah, we used to. We did. I, I could what happened I, to it. I could get one uh, after this game. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that set up. All right, there's another Glistener Elf and immediately gets push. pushed. Russell, why are you going to let him push your elf around? Oh, that's a snazzy F&M promo Fatal Push, Yeah, too. very nice. Very nice. like it a lot. Does he got... He's got... Well, Russell's got two cards in hand, one card in hand. Hard to tell. Yeah, not that many. And he, Josh still has this Maelstrom Pulse, so even if yeah. uh, he has Apostle's Blessing, so he can counter this Fatal Push, which I think he probably has to try to do. Yeah, and that'll keep it safe from the Pulse for the until next turn at least. Yeah. Oh wait, well there's a Goyf Dice now, but we don't can't really tell. <laughs> can't see it very well on here. Yeah, and he's <laughs> just gonna scoop it up because he knows he's losing this thing, and then he's gonna die to this Goyf in two turns. Yeah. So that that's right, game one goes to Josh. Josh and Josh. Mr. Ankeny, fellow um, Ponza player, sometimes. Yeah. He also likes to play that Neither Reliquary deck, which is what I thought he was on when we put him. <laughs> but that's fine. I like <laughs> I like Obs on too. I used to play that deck. Yeah, this is like a throwback to like 2016. Yeah, like pre Gitaxian Pro Band. last year, like... man. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get a Goyf die. I'll be right back. Well, he's got one. Do you think the one we get is going to help see uh, it better? I, well, check it out. He does have one. He does have one. He just put it out. Just can't really read it on our screen. I'll try. All right. Ryan's going to head down there, try to find a better go if dice. This guy's going to sideboard up. Not sure what Josh has got in his sideboard. He was looking for uh, some cards earlier today before the event began to see if he could make any additions or edits to his sideboard. I think he was trying to get a little bit of an idea of the local meta, so he could try to do that. Uh, Russell, he hasn't played a while. I'm not really sure what he has in his sideboard either, so I can't, unfortunately, give you very uh, informative predictions that was better yeah ryan asked if that dice was better i think it's better the people at home might disagree but yeah we can see the goy we've done it yay your mic is so low my mic's all up in my face i like to get intimate with my audience but i don't know where's a good angle for this i don't really know uh so I don't, I don't know. You project, so I, I think it's fine where it is. Okay. Is that, is that a nice way of telling me that I talk loud? No, I project, too. It's <laughs> it's fine. Ron does not project, so the mic has to be, like, like here. All, all up in his face. Yeah. It's getting intimate with the microphone. About said something very inappropriate. <laughs> so I guess Josh, sideboard-wise, just wants anything and everything that kills a creature here. Yeah, which, I mean, he might have a few options in his sideboard for that. Usually, uh, Obzo decks have lots of options for removal. Yeah. Probably wants a Damnation, maybe he's got it. Maybe, yeah. Kind of gets around the Hexproof and the, and the protection. Yep. I know, I, play, I played one Damnation when I played this deck. Started out as a Wrath of God as the budget option, but... Yeah. You want to get double black because of the Lilianas, and so Damnation yeah, is really true. better. It's been my blue white control days. I was all about the board wipes. Or out. Uh, board wipe everything. My first legal modern deck had like five, like I think it was like three Supreme Verdicts and two Wrath of Gods in it. Oh, yeah. The first Some modern people just can't handle all the board wipes. Oh, yeah. I just played super heavy to the board. Board wipe everything. Keep right. them all. 
I'm gonna cut it up. I'm gonna draw their cards. I'm gonna get this show on the road. Good sevens. Good sevens all way, all the way around. All right. I caught a glimpse of a land and a become immense in Russell's hand as he was picking them up. Maybe a glistener off. I couldn't quite tell. Well, or maybe he didn't, cause. But it looks like he didn't want that, so. I don't know what the other cards would be to make you mulligan if it was Glistener Elf land become immense. Maybe he was land heavy. Yeah, maybe it was just like way too many lands. <clears throat> yeah. Looks like Josh is gonna keep his. Which is, if I'm Russell, I don't feel good about that, cause yeah. like you want to keep like hands that have path to exiles and fatal pushes and. But we shall see. All right. Six here. There's a noble hierarch. Yep. There's a card that, was, that looked like it'd been altered. Maybe it looked couldn't quite. It tell. looked like a flip card, like a like a flip like a checklist card that had been all blocked oh. out. But I don't know what checklist card he would play. Um, Delver Secrets. No, I now I it's no blue idea. green Delver Simic Delver. Yes. Yeah, so so it could be Delver Secrets. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> it could be. Um, Kissing Quagmire. Fetch, fetch. Here we're gonna go. Some double fetching. Boom, boom. Probably gonna drop to 14 here, you think? I'm gonna guess 15. Oh, no. Gonna get the basic. Gonna get. Yep, so 15. Yeah, okay. Firm, firm, firm. Or 16. My bad. My bad. I can't count tonight. I'm no. barely here. I'm just barely in this building. <laughs> Maybe we'll see what that flip card is. Oh! Is that search for us, Kanta? Oh, one of the new ones? Yeah, oh. Search for Ask I'm going to pull up. I don't know what that does. I'm pulling up man. the text. I know it reduces stuff. Interesting. I saw some YouTube videos where some people were playing Blue White Control with Ask in it. It made top eight of the recent Legacy Tournament in a Blue oh, White Control. Oh, did it? All right, so Search for... All right, that's Ask Kanta. Search for as Kanta is one and a blue for a legendary enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may look at the top card of your library... You may put it into your graveyard. Yeah. Then if you have seven or more cards in your graveyard, you may transform it. Transforms into Azkanta the Sunken Ruin, which is a legendary land that taps for a blue. Or you pay two and a blue, tap it, look at the top four of your library. You may reveal a non-creature, non-land yeah. card from among them, put it into your hand, put the rest on the bottom it's in any like order. slightly Hot. overpriced, like, what? So it's, I in get... Impulse? So it's kind of like... A worse Sylvan library. So yeah. for when you're going long against grindy decks, just kind of helps you eke out advantage, I guess. Yeah, well, Absent can be pretty grindy. So. Oh, yeah. So grindy. Grindiest of grinds. And uh, Josh played that Inquisition that it looked like Russell had a handful of pump spells. Yeah, so Russell des or Josh decided to relieve him of one of those pump spells. Yep. Ground Swarm? Is that what that card's called? Yeah, Ground Swarm. Yeah. So you see, there was a Vines there that got... I think he had two Might of Old Crosses when he revealed his hand. Maybe he only had one, and I thought there was one. There's one. Yep. Oh, he's going on no bar. <laughs> going to swing in for six there. Yep, and, and here's And there's push. push. Oh, Man, oh man, fatal push. My old, old Cross is strong, but since you have to play it as a sorcery, it, it's significantly worse. Yeah, uh, I mean, you don't have to. But, it's I mean, generally. worth it if yeah. you don't, so. Alright, here's the tree. There is Liliana. Liliana. Which will kill this other noble hierarch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Which puts Russell on not a whole lot. Though he gets to kind of dig with that search for Ascanta. Right. So, here's the trigger. And he gets to look at the top card, and if he wants, he may put it in his graveyard. So it's kind of like a scry one on your upkeep. Yeah. Thinking about it. Gonna take it. Yeah. Place and he needs to get to... Ink Moth Nexus there. And he Threshold lets him flip. Yeah. Which he has. Yeah, but he it's a may. He decided not to flip yeah. it. Yeah. So you may just, 
honestly, the the front side might be better. So it just gives it you just that extra passive look. scry every turn. Yeah, because the, the flip side, it's a three mana activate activated ability. So that's a little pricey, yeah. Yeah. especially in modern where you you kind of the land curve is pretty low for a lot of decks. So I imagine we're probably not going to see Russell flip this. Probably not at all. All right, gonna plus on the Liliana. Bye bye pump spell. Looks like he's got the Might of Old Curse. Oh, no, oh distortion strike. Okay, so, so his other he has card. a Might of Old Curse in hand yeah. too. He found that ink moth. Josh so. discarding Ooh. an overgrown tomb. It looks like. Oh, is he's gonna brutality? Brutality, but he's not gonna brutality. Uh, he's gonna. He's going to... Ink Moth Nexus isn't very scary if you don't have pump spells. So. Right. Oh, oh, Lingering Souls. Well, that's real hard for Ink Moth Nexus to get through. <laughs> yeah, I think playing Lingering Souls is a much better play. Yeah. And it's Luffy. Is that who it is? That's Monkey D. Luffy, Captain of the Straw Hat Pirates. Oh, I see it now. Okay, yeah. he's kind of cartoony. Yeah, he's a little he's like a chibi. Like a chibi, yeah. yeah. All right. I think Russell might have drawn another search for... No, is that Jace? I think that's Jace. Oh. Literal, actual baby super, Jace. Super What's spicy. going on? Is this in fact? I, I, <laughs> no, it's blue-green control. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess, like, these are probably cards out of the sideboard to let you go longer against the... The grindy matchup? Yeah, for sure. I mean... Grixis, John, whatnot. Yeah. He's, you know, he's kind of playing off the top. He's only got the Might of Old Curse in hand, but he's going to start getting some value off these cards if Josh can't get rid of him. But there's the Brutality. Yeah, so that's going to... Oh, and you get that. another... Ooh. Oh, man. Synergy, baby. That hurts. There's a Might of Old Corosa. Uh, that's pretty good. And, and then now he just goes on... You can attack with one token. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's going to attack. attack both? Well, Flashback, I mean, back one of them. Ink Moth Nexus isn't a threat. Like, he and can't. He's just going to go on Snoop. He's going to just play the Goyf. Oh, and Dussel, Russell's dead in a uh, couple quick turns here. Yeah. Tarmogoyf's like, Fatal Push what? No. Although, Russell could potentially, if he drew a Become a right here, he could he could put some hurt on with the uh, with the Blink Moth now. Yeah, he, can't kill, Moth. he can't kill no, him. He can't kill him, no. but. Blighted Agent is an okay draw, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's a race that Russell's still losing right now, but... Yeah. We'll see what happens. Like, a couple good draws could get him out of this, potentially. Yeah. Although, jo I know, Josh has the Edict, so he can just kill the, the Blighted Agent. Yeah, he could. Gonna swing it for six here. Yep. Russell's gonna drop to eight. Yep. And he's gonna plus the Liliana. It's greedy, but... Yeah, especially since Russell has no cards in hand. I think I think I just take the opportunity to kill kill that blighted agent. Yeah. She's not super necessary anymore. Yeah, and at lingering this point. lingering souls don't interact with blighted agent at all. Yeah. So it's not like if Russell played a second Ink Moth Nexus. Alright. Oh uh, but, but he has path. path. Okay, so that makes sense. Man, yeah. And Absin has all the answers yes. sometimes. If you have the path, <laughs> then I definitely plus the lily. Yeah. That yeah, makes yeah. sense. Yeah, Alvazon's really good at killing stuff. Uh, it's just been dismantling Infect right now. Oh, yeah. This, this is probably one of Russell's worst matchups. Except for maybe, like, something that plays, like, Snapcaster, Lightning Bolt. Like, the Grixis deck. Yeah. yeah. Colgun's Command is really good against Infect. Gonna trigger the Search for Azkanta. He's gonna think about what he wants to do. Does he have an out? He's dead on board. But I guess... Did Josh path the Blighted Agent in Russell's upkeep? Oh, he's going to flip it. Uh, He may have. Yeah. Because that, oh, okay. that forest is still tapped. So. All right, he's going to pass back. Did he draw? For he didn't draw a card. Is he? Well, he's dead here, though, right? Well, yeah. Well, well, if he's not, I guess he can chump the Tarmogoyf with his Ink Moth Nexus. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna go make sure that he drew a card for a turn because I'm just a little confused. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. All right, so Ryan's gonna go try to get things squared up 
here, hopefully before they get too far into it, in case they need to back up at all. Alright. So he didn't draw a card. So then Ryan had to draw a card, and it's a ground swell. I can now say I'm not the only player in this store that's missed a draw step on camera. <laughs> Alright. He's going to ground swell the Ink Moth. He's which will kill, kill Lingering Souls. He's going to drop to one. Which I guess gives him... I don't know what it gives him. I don't think there's any one and card that... he put his, his Ink Moth in the graveyard. I'm so confused. Did it block the Goyf? No, because... Josh just put one of his spirits in the graveyard. Did he put his did he put his ink moth in the graveyard on accident? Maybe. I'm sure it, I'm so confused right now. It looks like this is I mean it looks over, but Okay, alright, Russell's gonna scoop it up. Yep. All right. So Josh gets this one two one. I'm I'm don't feel bad, Kurt, because I'm just as confused as you are. It's a two zero. Yeah, he got a two zero. But uh, yeah, I don't know. There's some some wonky missed some missed steps there. Weird plays. Or you and I are just crazy. We could also just be dumb. That's true. It's, I've, it's been known to happen. Before. I'm leaning towards that one myself. Yeah, remember. West Virginia TC. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like he was dead. So I didn't no. count the scape shift. Usually, Come on. Usually the person who scoops first yeah, it has is lost. scooping because they lost. Yeah. And that's their concession of defeat. Right. He did bring in damnation. But like they must said. have they must have verbally agreed that it was gonna be over and then the guy who won just scooped first because he was jumping again. I don't know. It was a weird thing. We've been streaming for twelve hours. Yeah. But a was... lot of we had, our Twitch chat was Huge, and there's a lot of degenerates in there. So that it was. All right, uh, we have a good amount of time left in the round, so we're going to try and get somebody for ga their game three under the camera. We'll be right back. All right. <laughs> 